Hey everybody, I'm Dune, and this is another episode of Factorio Megabase. I'm streaming a little early today. I couldn't sleep, so well, might as well play some Factorio. Uh, yesterday, after the end of the stream, I was sort of just looking over the base, and I noticed that there's a number of trains waiting for supplies. Um, this intersection could also be improved. Um, basically, two types of trains use the same entrance, and it's a little slow. I mean, it's not horrible, but um, I was thinking of some sort of, you know, most of the ore is going to come from the south, and the ore stackers on the south, so maybe a, maybe a little direct in. Uh, it's a little problem, though. I mean, the Stackers are kind of close to the uh, exit. Um, but that's not as really as important as getting more ore to the refinery, the or smelting facility. Because the way this works is if there's enough trains in the stacker and basically if number of ore trains add up to eight or more then all the bays will open right now they're only open based on how much is in the supply so uh, i hover my mouse over one of the power poles and you can see that there is a an iron ore symbol and it's you know it's fluctuating between five and six and so forth right now and if it ever climbs above eight or more then all the bays open up and basically they can work even if they are above average because right now if they're above average such as this one eight eight is at 15k the average is 15k well it's right about there okay so it just you know it just went above and so it opened and then it closed and you see this light changing back and forth um but if you know we had enough uh, we're almost we have seven almost eight now it just turned to eight iron ore trade so this just opened up and it's going to fluctuate but it could have a train incoming and it will have a better chance of getting um, more or well in fact now um, well, anyways the averages fluctuate and um, if there's enough ore trains in the stacker or in a port to add up to eight then uh, more smelting can be done and that's the same with all my smelting outposts it's the same with this one up here if there's enough ore trains in the system um, I count them I count them with the rail signals so I'll copy in and you'll see this train go in and as its signal turns to red it is counted uh, likewise when it goes through this uh, we take the number of red signals in case in this one since they have multiple reds and divide it by a number and then output that number and so you know here we can see that there's two trains in this loop by the number of signals that they are blocking um, so we're just kind of hurting for ore right now um steel trains we've got six trains waiting for steel uh which means we need more iron flowing uh here we're not so much hurting for iron in the north uh we have an average of 200,000, but we're not getting enough iron to our smelting um, or we're just not smelting enough i mean we have six trains unloading iron plate at the moment out of six bays but you know we're just not smelting enough iron or into steel and steel is just you know it's a slow process um, steel takes 17 seconds to make one steel plate even with a ton of speed beacons uh, so it's up to you know over almost 400 percent um, so crafting speed is 
I'm not sure exactly how to do the math on that to change those 17 seconds into uh, whatever it's taking, but it's rather slow. Um, our UPS is running at 23, 20, you know, or so when 60 is the top, and so that 17 seconds is also affected by the speed of the, the game is running at. And then of course, everything's affected by that, so um, that's kind of uh, not inaccurate, but I mean, when you look at it, you go, well, 17 seconds, um, that's at full game speed. So we're probably going to need um, more bays, more smelting bays, but we need more iron. Um, when our stackers are empty of iron, we simply just don't have enough. Um, so last episode, at the end of the episode, we added a couple more iron ore trains to both the north and the south. We're just going to have to continue that. Um, we've pushed things by adding uh, various outposts um, the last few episodes but LDS uh, requires a huge amount of steel so you know we're just pushing our base which is a good thing um, I had felt like things were backing up prior to that yeah. so we're just going to have to, we're probably going to have to expand in the north. We're kind of running out of iron ore patches uh, to go after. We've got a few. We're not done yet, uh, but we are kind of running out. We have this huge one we probably could tap. Um, <laughs> technically, that's like 370 million. I probably could mine that for quite some time. I think it would last forever, but it won't. Uh, it's just, I almost feel like when you go to tap something like that, you should, you know, maybe have a new smelting facility it, it, it funnels into. But, um, maybe we can add some direct smelting, or direct insertion like we have for this outpost down here in the south, which is mostly tapped out now, but you can actually, I feel... Uh, handle more trains if you just put the track right over the patch and so we'll probably it's probably a good strategy to start with um, we're gonna need oh, a number of items for that uh, mostly miners uh, probably don't need that many but take them and beacons and modules you don't use people are asking me in last stream why don't I use productivity modules in mining operations and it's because productivity modules there's I mean you just look at it they're really bad for mining they lower sp speed uh, by 15 percent each they increase pollution by 10 percent each and that's really a misnomer um, I mean it it is but it's I think their wording on that's horrible it's really worse than 10 percent and energy consumption plus 80 percent uh, energy consumption actually attributes to pollution so uh, even though it's energy consumption plus 80 percent it's also adding to pollution um, I don't know how to demonstrate that but if you do the math you know you think the pollution so oh, it should only go up 10 percent it doesn't um, look at these pollution on this like 12 if you put up a regular normal you know uh, just you can copy that to this uh, pollution is three you know this should only be plus 40 percent three plus 40 percent would be like three point you know not, it wouldn't be four but you know pollution's 12 I mean it's like not plus 
four, 40%, it's like 400%. So um, their, their wording on that's horrible. I, so, you know, people submit that from bug, you know, bugs from time to time saying they did it and they're like no it's just as you know working as intended um, I think they could word it better but that's the way they do it it's a hidden aspect so productivity modules in mining it's just bad it slows it in half your research will far outstrip um, outproduce uh, the modules you know in just a short time you know, mine is way above my my mining productivity is almost a th plus a thousand percent, and productivity modules would only give me thirty percent, and slow my mining operations in half, plus the other detractors. So, really don't know exactly what I'm gonna need you know and track that's really for a big oh I suppose I'll need a bunch of trains let's grab so we really need more engines What do we got? Roughly the same. So total of 21 plus the four on me would be 25. Um, two, four each would be six. So I need four more. Actually, that you know, I had what I have on me. Let's that's gonna be a whole bunch. Um, one thing they've fixed is a bug I had reported a number of episodes ago, or maybe it doesn't. Um, this was supposed to be fixed. Still not fixed. I should mention that. Hopefully, I'll remember. I'm sure I will. Uh, we need to know where we're going, though. So we are headed way out to this huge patch wherever it is, right here. Um, don't really have an outpost close to that. So let's go to northwest three five east and remember to stop our train long before we get there. Northwest three five east. There, whoops. Slow that down. No, don't don't unload, don't unload. Uh, grab it before the bots can grab. Need to put another um, do that. Shift copy it in and drag it forward. And disconnect it. So while that's traveling, let's kind of look at some things. 
last episode. Oops, that's not that one. Um, satellite. I came down here to remove a piece of track. Got distracted because these trains were backed up and ended up leaving before fixing it. So that's something else I did offline, off camera. Um, but that's if anybody was wondering. So we have a number of trains waiting for low density structures, and really it's just the steel. We're out of steel. No steel, no low density structures, and I'm going to guess space science is going to slow down because of that. We have none in our train hopper. We do get some from our original base. Uh, creation and so you can see this is running at full steam but that will also dwindle as our steel trains empty out uh, currently no steel trains so it's only what we have in chess and then it's this uh, really old outpost that will try to pick up keep up but it's oops we need yes we passed it um we should probably just go up here and do a loop instead of trying to back up and possibly be run down and lose all our stuff just making sure there's no trains coming but it doesn't appear like any trains are on their way. So I use a mod called Beautiful Bridge Railway, so that's what that all is right there. all done uh, for the moment. Gonna stay away from the patch a little bit. Probably gonna need to fill some of this in. Roughly we're gonna want I do it vertically. Oops. Could do it something like so. And we can fill in some of that landfill. If we do it this way, we're going to have to fill a ton of landfill. I didn't bring that much. But we could certainly get a lot more outposts in that way if we did it that way. So I think we're going to have to do it that way. We're just going to need a bunch of landfill. Um, actually, no. Um, not as much as I thought. We could use some bridge track. Uh, but the station itself, which I didn't bring a whole lot of stations either. I really should set up this. I can handcraft a few, I'm sure. Yeah, 20, that's plenty. Okay, so we do I mean, the real trick is kind of get them an idea. Because even if we set this like right here, what we need before I do any of that really to get the size of a station so you know with 
it's going to be, you know, four cars wide. So this looks definitely wide enough to do four cars wide through most of it. And the rest we can pick up with bots. So maybe start from the bottom and work our way up. I'm going to copy this one here. It's a been tapped a little bit. Um, I even, yeah, these curve sections are probably similar. Uh, we'll tap off robo ports at the moment and quester chests and inserters. What else? Um, this system of this was to get trains to alternate back and forth well we're going to have more than two so we're going to have to come up with something else So, let's start with something, roughly the looks of, well, it's hard to see with all the beacon lights where the ore will be. Because we could do like down here, but well, then we'll definitely need... Support with robots. It's not horrible. And trying to keep all the mining off of the, you know, um, the water. Yeah, water. So we'll do that. We will have to do uh, we don't need probably all that but to get this we need don't know how much room we need for that. We need landfill like under it all the way.
was only planning on speed modules for the weekends. I forgot the miners would want them too. We should go with chests there. So pretty sure. Those just for a moment. If I put that there, that means there's really no ore right under that. You know, it's got a couple of cubes. If you go over here, it's red. So this one can get all that. We're just going to save ourselves the trouble of having to do this later. This one will kind of run out too. set up our normal mining like here and also up here So we should have power everywhere. And we'll need some robo ports. Which, you know what? I, oh, I do thankfully have some logistics. So each chest in a potentially 12 per uh, there's 2,000 ore that can fit in one train car. Divide that by 12. It's 166.6 so 167. So we'll just set these up as 167. And then as we duplicate them as needed locally so I could do some of that mining here uh, once this fails so we'll probably be able to get some of that out of there so it'll be a while 477,000 just for that one miner times 10 it's like 4 million on that miner so we have that set up we can do probably two more see if there's anything else okay so roughly so we need a 
good. Unfortunately, you can't put it like this. Actually, maybe we could. It's those miners that are blocky. Actually, um, what am I thinking? We can put it all the way down like this. Just. Uh, you can't actually. Because the way track works, it's, you can't have those exactly lined up. If you notice in the middle of this blueprint, there's a gap between the beacons and the next row of miners. So really, we ought to uh, instead of trashing that blueprint, let's let's just grab this, and then what we can do is we can around with this so if we set it here we're you know reusing I forgot to remove the we'll set that there I have to remove the bridge track so we can reuse the beacons if we place it here of those down below um, the mining's mostly the same, it's just we have to build a little bit of landfill out. Obviously we move it down, we wouldn't have to do that, and there's definitely plenty of room to do that. And maybe we'll do that at a later date, but if we, well... Anyway. We'd have to remove these to play speakings if we're going to move it down. Then we can of course use miners and bots down that direction. Put this closer to the middle. It's also looking above. Go with this. How much bridge track do we need? And I really don't know if a uh, station can connect to bridge track. I should kind of figure that out. So this will go on regular, but we'll just connect to bridge track it will so that's one mystery solved it's just landfill that it needs to sit on just continue to try to figure this out Print had it. Uh, no, we put it in the wrong spot. Yeah, that lines up. I need some more modules. Pretty much going to do it. I don't think we have enough modules to set up a fourth row yet. Um, what am I needing these for? I guess they got placed. So let me pick those up. Okay. So, this, if we move you up, like so. Okay. 
probably ought to do this. Like hmm. two phase. But first, we need to make sure. This one has enough distance. So if we did this on a more of a slope. trains coming in. So we have a number of trains coming in. I mean this ought to be able to support quite a number. Stacker. Probably the easiest way is just a few straight lines of track. So if we do basically like that, but to feed this in. things but Should get a number of trains going. Of course, I didn't bring enough fuel to run a whole ton of trains. Well, those have to be really cheap. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't really need a whole lot of bots up this way. And let's spread the love around. each of these. Yeah, how are we gonna rotate these? We could rotate them. Could not rotate them at all and then just first come first serve. It's always an option. Let me finish the stacker over here. Do this like we were good. Most efficiently would be to put these signals here. So when the train comes in, as soon as it passes that signal, the next one can go in. But we have to remove these, otherwise those lights will be green as soon as the train passed these. And then others would come in and stack behind, and you don't want that. Also need a chain signal just before. Stick some more signals in here as these trains come out of here. Um, if you have a signal kind of halfway, then as a train pulls out, if there is one waiting, it can come in sooner. Alright, so we want to start a number of trains. We really, how's our fuel? Fuel. Probably have enough to get back to base. Without running out. So, I think we can start our six. Now let's back up. Have this option, fortunately. this one and we'll kind of duplicate it. So we're really just going to go on the cheap and hope that I like to usually put a train, a few on each end, but one should be enough. It'll just really be slow the first trip. So we'll add iron ore 90. 
Okay, battery full. And then iron. Iron or unload. North. Already empty. Okay, so we're just simply gonna copy you. Six new trains. Hopefully they get the fuel they need where they're going, <laughs> or they're not going to be able to pull out of their station. They're going to move really slow every time they have to come to a stop and re-accelerate. sure that happens so north one three south one three south send ourselves there uh, we do have the stations necessary are really no longer needed. Our new wall's up that way. <laughs> oh. Um, didn't add that to Yarm. You know, I might not do that for a while. That's really like 370 million. I mean, Yarm's just going to be counting that forever. Once this starts to get mined up, it'll become really patchy and it's so much easier for Yarm to calculate it when it's not patchy. Alright. used to keep the center track, center of the track cleared on my blueprints. Um, long before I got to megabase size, I came up with a blueprint where I 
the double track that had the power poles on the side. I used to keep it clear so I could drive a car down it and you know you'd run into poles with your car so that's why I had them off to the side. But you know on a basis size a car is just <laughs> passe. Alright so we're probably going to want a little extra duplicated both sides the signal support the number of iron trains I'll be pulling through there will increase so I'll change that to west station and add it to your arm. And any trains come back yet? Not yet. So we added six. Some of them are on their way back. he going anyways after he gets it we went to north one three west north one three west our new waypoint set it to time past of zero kidding me? I can't turn right? There we go. I don't know what happened there. That's probably the one we already fixed, yeah. Uh, got another one in the hopper.
And it did hurt me. Let's do that. We're going to do it again. trains. That's one coming right now. See those little square chunks? This is the uh, difference between version 15 and version 16 map generator. I upgraded the map. These new chunks were explored. supposed to be later. So the ones filling up with chests, of course, are more efficient. But the direct insertion style, I really like. It's, it, I guess, handles more trains more efficiently. Something, I don't know. Because when I was trying to do my original patch, I thought, well, I'll just bring, you know, a ton of bots or whatever, but... I don't know, I couldn't keep, keep, you know, even one set train boxes filled fast enough. Where if I had track overlaid the patch. Anyways, let's not stand here forever. We're missing two trains. The one's pulling in now, and one's almost here. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Go for it. Come back. Silly thing. Once it gets it's in its head, it's going one direction. It just... Additional six trains coming here should help a lot. Yeah, got a number of trains backed up. Fortunately, I don't like the stacker method. One big long stackers. Um, I think you should maybe have a gap in here somewhere so you can get a signal in there. So trains traveling down don't block forever. Anyways, let's delete that. Turn the train around, so we'll go there first. Um, oh, shoot. Ah! I'm not in my train. <laughs> Come back! Come back! Need to turn. 
turn it around. Let's move the signals a little further there. Tweak these a little bit. Here she is. So the reason I sent this trains down to here to this outpost of this intersection. So it wouldn't come down here and then make the right and then zig this way. You have to make a hard left turn. If it comes over here, it just comes straight down and then kind of this Y intersection across. I think this intersection is probably a little easier for them to turn on. I mean, roundabouts are nice. Uh, but they can block. Like, where do you think you're going? Because <laughs> he's literally going to come all the way down here and do a loop and come back up. Dummy. But because of all these trains coming in. Definitely something I want to have a look at. As the stacker gets busier, figure out a way to get signals on these. hearing static but also only these accumulators being buzzy noises. Tweak that. I'm always up there tweaking. Definitely don't want trains coming and making a big long loop down this way to think they're going to save themselves something when they won't. to increase the length of this to accommodate I mean, how many iron ore trains do we got coming here? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, uh, 
41 total. Is the stacker anywhere close to being able to handle uh, 41 minus 8, 32, 33 trains? Well, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, really, 28 trains in this. Well, it has 25 lanes. That's good. And here we can move up here. Should have all the baits open now. Great. We got 13 trains. So that's definitely going to help improve total quantity. As trains coming to pick up will still only go to the highest average trains or stations outposts that are ready Stacker with this busy. Probably getting ran over. Dodging trains do this, anyways. If I remove, say, this piece, can I put a signal there? Yes, I can. So if I did that like every five. So, really need a chain signal there, but I'll do that. Uh, we need it. No, we can't do. That's really a bad idea, huh? Because now that guy's blocking this whole lane. So it's an idea, but we have to use chain signals to keep that from. kind of a funky way it allows trains to come in a lot faster instead of having to come all the way around if there's a 
lean open for him. That is kind of cool. I like it. And it lets us put signals in this section. Which I've not been able to do. Change this right there. Move this one. I like it. A little shortcut onto the stacker. Kind of makes me want to add. Probably have to remove poles and stuff. Going right here at the beginning. I suppose I could do this one. empty and just flow right on and that's you know, potentially coming across there don't really need you and we do need that as a chain signal somewhere we don't want it coming across and blocking Still do that. No. Well, can I? It's kind of a question I have as if a train uh, it just means only one train can enter that section at a time. But a train can just now still also come from this way and get on there. I 
I like it. term effects of this I'm not sure like is it making trains route themselves differently to make use of that stuff I'm not sure like this guy he should have come up around this way but he didn't for some reason so he's blocking this is train he's planning on going around that loop Yes, see this train here also wants to take that loop because it's faster than coming down this way. So maybe this is not such a great idea. Because the point of having two entrances is so these trains don't block. Why is this also backed up over here? See, he's also doing that. All right, there is a. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I like it, but at the same time, well, we can we modify this somewhat to prevent that from. We can always do something like that. They'd rather do that than stop lock in the intersection and come up this way. I'd rather they came across, but... What are doing for sure? I mean, annoying slash cool. I mean, I like this addition. I wonder 
if uh, put rail signals on that top row now since I moved that one part down. Still I'm gonna need chain signals there, but I think I can change that to rail signals. Question is, <clears throat> will the train come and sit right there? Train to come down here? Or will he flow around? That I'm not sure. Yeah, I could change my whole stacker to every one of these does this curve thing. an idea too then I don't have to do this big loopy loop but then I kind of run into the same situation I can't put signals in there if they all did that but I could do it like every other one We'll have to watch that long term. But I think we definitely increase the processing. Steel doing steels. And it's got five trains waiting. How many trains we got coming in bringing supplies? 9, 12, 15, 18. Stacker, I guess, just straight up red. Oh, well. Yeah, the stacker shares both pickup trains and supply trains, and so it's actually not calculating that correctly. Okay. Both train types is you know being in the stacker because you can't differentiate that way you just have to have your own stacker for each type like I do with red circuits or here open oh, 06 is going to permanently be at the bottom of the list because it probably won't ever get it, or rarely will get a plate train it's as if I didn't have circuits controlling that at all the only way to really to fix it is to send enough plate trains there. Solve that problem. And we do have a direct smelting operation over here. It's not totally backed up with trains waiting for plate, so that's kind of a good thing. 
all those plates flow into the steel here. I'm thinking we could use what we have the supplies on us. Let's steal some fuel from one of these trains. Need to start another couple. These two should be going in. Six did get some iron. That's good news. Or seven, I guess. <laughs> 